Hi, I'm Matt Burns from the University of Missouri, and we're here today to do some more reading assessment and intervention. And I have a special guest with me today. Uh, many of you might know him from Jeff the Memester fame, our the famous YouTuber. Uh, but with me today is Carter. Say hi, Carter. Hi. Carter, what grade are you going into? Uh, seventh. Going into seventh. Wow, that's great. So I'm going to model how to do uh, a measure of oral reading fluency. Now I'm trying to do a show uh, curriculum-based measures that can be done virtually. And anything that doesn't have a student material, you, you probably can't do maze, but the kid has to sort of read it and circle answers. But something like this, where he reads and I follow along, as long as I have the PDF online and I can share my screen, we can do it just fine on Zoom for free. And that's what we're gonna to do today, okay? All right, Carter. So as I mentioned, I have, the, I have the student form in my hand here. I'm gonna use that to follow along like you would any other CBM that you do. So I'm gonna share. Okay. Carter. Can you see it okay? Um, it's loading. Oh, it's loading still? Give it just a second. Uh, now it's there. Good. Okay, Carter. I'm going to ask you to read this. If Start right here. Please read this. If you get stuck, I will tell you the words so you can keep reading. When I say stop, I may ask you to tell me about what you read. So do your best reading. Start here. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yep. Ready? And there we go. Humans have made a new tool for sorry, stop. On, stop, stop, stop. Sorry. I screwed up. I forgot to set my, uh, I forgot to turn my, alarm, my uh, stopwatch. Hold on a second. And begin. Humans have made and used tools for thousands of years. We have simple tools like screws, wedges, ramps, pulleys, wheels, and levers. We've gotten so good at making and using tools that we've made robots that can create and make tools. However, humans aren't the only animals that use tools. There are some tame animals that use tools because we teach them to do so. For example, many people use service animals to help them around the house. Most service animals are dogs, but can also be cats, birds, miniature horses, and even pigs. The owners of these animals can teach them to use tools to open doors, turn on electronic devices, or call for help. There are other animals in the wild that learn to use natural objects as tools to meet a certain need. Although most animals don't use tools in this way, there is evidence that dolphins, otters, monkeys, apes, rodents, octopuses, elephants, and some birds can do and do use these tools in the wild. Okay, Many good. times. You can stop there. Excellent job. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And again, I just simply follow along and marked as he read. And in that one minute, it looks like Carter, you read 155 words, 158 words total with three errors, so 155 words per minute. Now, this was an, I used a fifth grade passage, Carter's going into seventh grade. I picked an off grade one uh, to make it easy for him. And also I wanted to use one that he'd already done. So there's no chance that they would use this for him in school next year. And again, this is from Dibbles, it's all free. You just go to Dibbles and, and their website, you can download it for free, which is why I think it's okay to use it on Zoom like this to demonstrate it. Now we have to be careful, this 155 words per minute is completely valid because it's a you know fifth grade probe with, with a seventh grader, but still, even if it weren't, if it were a grade level probe, you have to be careful comparing it to norms because it was normed in a face-to-face -face assessment, not in a virtual one like this. But you can conduct the virtual assessment to get a sort of sense of the, a child's reading skills and to use it to monitor progress over time. Thanks, Carter. You did a great job. Thanks. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye.